Hello truckers and welcome back to SnowRunner. We're doing the job down to the last screw today. And the first task we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over this vehicle that's out here. I don't know if I gotta deliver it anywhere. This is flip it over so we shall see. Then after that, I will have a vehicle I gotta go get and bring to the technical station. And then we will have a job I think of delivering stuff to the technical station. Not too sure, but uh, we shall see. Uh, how do I go about crossing this area here? I can kind of see the path I need to take. I've done it before. Because it does look familiar. I just don't remember where I went. I probably should leave all-wheel drive on. Yeah, this water's not as deep as it looks, I guess. At least not yet, anyways. get up the hill here so this is the last uh, job that we have to do before we get on to the job of unlocking the garage in the heartlands oh sorry uh, harvest court and that way we'll have three garages in Central Asia we do have a garage kind of on this map here it's not a garage but it is a place where we can repair and refuel Let's just go this way, I suppose. Now, let's not be bouncing around too much, please. Bouncing around always gets me in trouble. Once you start bouncing too much, you're going to flip over. That road sign does not need to be there. 12% grade. not too steep but it's steep enough uh this map i have not discovered all right so it looks like the road will go up and around but yeah we'll just take the road i don't want to try to go through there there might be too many trees i'll get hung up on a tree might be a cliff on the other side don't know This looks somewhat passable as long as there's no stumps in the area. All right, we can see our marker right down there. This is uh, flip it over. I wonder how close I have to get here. This can be close enough. Uh, let's put on the parking brake here. I don't want to be rolling down the hill. Uh, put that up to there. And can I just... Alright, it says flipped... Oh, okay, I read it wrong. I thought I meant flip over. No, but you still got to deliver this to the technical station. Alright. <laughs> yeah, if I learned how to read, that'd be good. Um, let's see, if I go back out the way I came in... We can take the asphalt road all the way to the technical station. That will work. That will work out for me. Uh, although unfinished bridge, I think I've taken that job. Of course, I haven't completed it. All right, uh, let's see. How do I want to approach this? Let's go ahead and release that. And we'll turn myself around. Where does that go? Not that it looks too interesting to me. Uh, actually, if I go that way, they'll bring me out into the same road, looks like. So, probably should just do that. Okay, let me back up here a little bit. Keep rolling. Alright, uh, like a glove. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Not really, but it worked. My heart stopped there for a second because there is no garage to, to recover on this map. Right, let's go ahead and park that there. 
I was trying to figure out if I wanted to uh, do a quick wench when I was rolling. But from my experience of rolling over, I'm like, I think I'll roll over all the way completely. And it worked. Okay, let's try not to get stuck on that tree there. Actually, let me go ahead and now that we're clear, let's reel that in a little bit. That vehicle is crunched up. Now, the only thing is, if I do start to roll, I don't have nothing to quick wench to because I got the vehicle behind me wench. Uh, turn on wench. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, is that vehicle in good shape enough to turn that engine on? So by turning the engine on and the vehicle behind us, whatever I do in this truck, it should do in that vehicle behind us. So... That should help us get through some sticky situations. Never mind the marker that I got in the map because I'm not going that way now. I do have myself an automatic, but we're going along rather well here. I think I'm going by a service trailer, but since I'm going all, all, all the way to the uh, technical station, I should be able to repair and refuel there, right? I, I know I can repair there, I just can't remember. I should be able to refuel there as well? Alright, so we made it out to the asphalt road. And also by going this way, I don't have to go around the bridge I haven't built yet. Don't think I've gotten that job yet. Uh, an excavator in the middle of the road. And looks like most vehicles are kind of going this way. I do like when you come up to like a roadblock in SnowRunner. If you look to the side of the road, you can kind of see some paths that vehicles have been taken. Is this the road I want to take here? I mean, it sort of is a shortcut. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, so we'll take it. Famous last words. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, we'll take it. Then you get halfway through, then you find out, oh yeah. It's not much of a shortcut, but we'll go this way. I'll take any shortcut I can get. question becomes with the two vehicles I'm recovering are these ones I get to keep or are we just recovering them While I'm driving around, I am looking for areas for upgrades. Sound like in the early days of SnowRunner, where it seemed like every corner I took there was an upgrade. There are few and far between here in Central Asia, it seems like. Uh, vehicle behind us is out of fuel. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, repair and refuel here. Okay. We will do that to the Royal BM. All right, stage complete, vehicle disappeared, so it's not one we get to keep. I don't mind keeping them, only to turn around and sell them, mostly. <laughs> we have kept quite a few, though. Can I sneak past our Taga? I think so. 
So let's go ahead and refuel. And then we'll come up here and we will... I think I automatically fix this when you drive in there. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, it looks like everything got fixed. All right, looks like we got to go to the left. Now we got to deliver the stuck Tuz 166. Uh, let me look at the map. All right, so it's not too far. So we just got to go down this road here. Uh, once we get there, then of course we got to get to there. So, yeah, we're doing all this just to get the garage on the Harvest Corp map. Having garages is good if you're not playing hard, uh, hardcore. Because if you got to recover, it'll recover to the nearest garage. And right now, we got two garages in Central Asia. The one that's here is like a semi-garage. You can't, like I said, you can't recover to that one, even though you can repair and refuel there. That's more like a service area, I suppose. So getting a garage on the Harvest Corp map will be nice to have. And the way I always try to look at it is every time I get something done, it's a job done. Although I don't think I'll ever get caught up in SnowRunner. They definitely uh, they definitely know how to put out patches and, and DLCs and give us plenty of jobs to do. How deep is this water here? It looks deeper than what it is. Ooh, that is uh, not what I want to be doing. And the Royal BM is going down the river. So, yeah, there's a rock there which I did not see. <laughs> and, of course, it's higher one side than the other. Uh, all right, so it's not that big of a deal. That's not the one I need to do. Um, we'll go get the Taga. Uh, let's see, this is all set to rock and roll. Except for, we don't want that right now. I mean, if you don't roll over in SnowRunner, then you're not really giving it a go. Just don't be rolling over often. It's been a, it's been a moment or two since I have rolled over, so... Well, I mean, I rolled over earlier in the episode. But we did a 360 rollover, so it all worked out. So we can recover the Royal BM with this vehicle here. And then maybe I'll just use the Taga to go get the uh, the stuck Tuz. Having two vehicles on one map at a time is nice. But you don't have a garage on it. And for those of you who play hardcore. I can see where that, you know, can be fun. You just can't, when you play hardcore, you just can't take it too serious. At least that's the way I would, I would approach it. Because you're going to get stuck. You're going to get rollovers. And if you, if you try to take it too serious, you're going to get frustrated by, you know, having to go get another vehicle to get your stuck vehicle out. All right. This time we will go to the right. And of course, now with only two vehicles, and I got this one here, if I roll this one over. It's no good. I think I'm close enough. All right, let's just go forward. Now the problem is uh, that is my truck, so by damaging it, it's not good. But at least we got it out of the deep water. The engine may not be good in it right now. And we're dragging it out of the water. Okay, let's release it. I 
I don't want to drag it too much more. I don't want to be damaging it. So all I want to do at this point is to... Oh, I can't wench it up there. Hopefully that will be good enough. There we go. Good as new, right? Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll leave that there. And we'll take the Taga. I don't know what shape the Royal BM is in because it was in deep water. So the engine may have a little bit of a problem with it. But we'll leave that there. And we know the Taga is in really good shape here. Currently, it's in good shape. two vehicles I think I've used the most, the Royal BM and the Taga. Uh, these many trees, I'm just looking for stumps. Oh, there's a little bit of a path that came up here. Interesting. Now, let me try quick wenching it here. No, I quick wench to a tree, so... I guess I should turn on the engine of the other vehicle. You can hear it running. It's taking it slow going downhill. I don't I've rolled over enough already this this episode. Good news is, with the Royal BM at least, it's not too far from the repair station, the service station. Should make it that far. I, I don't think it got damaged that much. I'm not sure if the engine takes damage underwater only if it's running or how that works. Uh, okay, what am I stuck on here? It's the way I came through before. I can't look underwater. Right, I can back up. Let's put it in low plus. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, I am hitting that rock there. I see that. Not sure exactly what we're getting stuck on, but we are moving forward. Yeah, the engine behind us is taking damage. That's all right. I kind of forgot what the last step is. It's like a service part or something of that matter. And step two of this task is just about complete. All right, uh, vehicle spare parts. 
Oh, so I'm picking them up all here? And where am I going? Deliver to the corporate garage, Harvest Corp. Well, this works out well because our trailer's right here. And the parts are right here. I got a crane I can lift them up on. To the service trailer. Just neat. Uh, well, I say service trailer. Our flatbed. It's got to go ahead and get our flatbed. And while we're here, of course, we'll refuel and repair our equipment. Uh, attached trailer. Let's go ahead and refuel. And I think I'm already in the repair area, so we should be all set. And let's move forward a little bit. So that's why it probably didn't show me where to pick them up, because they haven't spawned yet. Alright, let's go ahead and activate anchors. And crane mode. Forgot all the buttons I need to be doing here. Been a while since I used a crane on Snow Runner. Lift her on up. Bombs away. Well, let's get the last one, and then we can pack our cargo, and then we'll figure out the route we need to be taken. Camera angle's not letting me attach. There we go. We'll draw the cable in first. Problem is, I mean, getting used to the construction sim way it operates. There, that should work. All right, uh, restore crane, uh, pack cargo, do that first, and then, uh, yeah, we should be all set. All right, so now we got to go to the harvest corp. Oh, good, we're not too far from where we need to go, so we'll just mark that, and then of course on our way to the Harvest Corp. And then once we get on that map, we'll have to figure out our, our journey. A big truck like this with a guard on the front, barely taps a four-door four -door sedan, and I take two engine damage. I think it's been raining this entire episode so far, hasn't it, it seems like? Like always, I try to avoid all the mud holes on roads. I think there are some pretty interesting con. As soon as I said it's been raining all episode, it stops. I think there are pretty uh, good, interesting contracts to do on Harvest Corp map itself. So that's why I'm, I want to make sure I get the garage up and going there first. I mean, in theory, anytime I get to a map, the first thing I should do if there's a garage there is find it and discover it. Then the ne next step should be to get, like, all the bridges complete and built if there are jobs for them after you've uh, scanned the whole area. 
and then do the jobs that you want to do. Because getting the bridges, well, first of all, getting the garage is an obvious reason. Uh, but then getting the bridges built helps you get around a little bit better. Then you can just do the task that you want to do. Don't be slipping and sliding here. So actually, the one job that we see here on the screen right now, I think that is a part of the jobs on Harvest Corp map. And we have been here, so we'll skip that. All right, so where am I going with this now? Uh, the best way to get there. Yeah, so yeah, I haven't built a bridge yet. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't. I haven't been down that way either. Uh, with the scout vehicle, we went this way. So I don't know if this is even passable. And going this way wasn't bad. We did go this way with the scout vehicle. It wasn't bad at all. And that river looks like it might be kind of deep. Well, we're going that way. If it doesn't look good, turn around. And I think the CK-1500 is on this map. I think I left it here. Will it have the power to flip this over if it does get rolled over? I'm not too sure. Is this a bridge I, or a, a waterway I can cross? I'm just coming here to accept a task because I have not done it yet, I don't think. Well, I'm going to regret this quite a bit, I'm sure. <laughs> Is that a boat out there? It looks like a boat right on the point. Well, like an idiot. I mean, we're, we're in the Taga, right? The Taga can do anything. Kind of. I just don't know how soft this uh, this mud's going to be. And even if I get to that island out there, I don't know if I can cross the river. I mean, would it be wise to take my own advice and, you know, get the job, uh, get the bridge done? Unfinished bridge. It needs two metal beams. I'm going to start tracking just to see how big of a job I can get metal beams at the corporate warehouse. Yeah, let's not... Uh, Alright, even though as much as I want to get that done, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back and what map do I need to go on here? The Institute, yeah, and then let's jump into the Royal BM. We'll bring that back. We'll get that repaired. And I'll have to make a couple trips with the Royal BM to get the metal beams done. So we'll at least get that done today. And then uh, we'll see if we can get that uh, delivered here. 
Um, how bad? So my there's nothing damage on the Royal BM. Okay. I gotta turn myself around here. All right, let's not go to the right. Let's uh, kind of stick to the left side a little bit. Uh, yeah, need to go this way here. I am actually getting pushed downstream from the river. I just don't want to roll over again because now I don't have any other vehicles on this map with me. Although the TOG is not that far. Alright, we'll stop at the service station and top it off with fuel. And then I'll begin my long journey around to go get those steel beams. A trailer would be good if I pass one along the way. I should pick it up because I'm only going to be able to grab one set of steel beams, I believe. I do realize nighttime is coming, so I have to advance time till the morning. Let me just come in here and top off with some fuel. I don't think there is a trailer here, though. Now I'm looking around. I don't see one. All right, let's go to the harvest court. And we'll get that bridge built. Well, here we are in the Royal BM on the harvest court map. And I was just looking at the map itself. And I noticed when I was trying to figure out how to get to the industrial building that we got to pick up the uh, metal beams at. Uh, there is, it looks like a small road that goes down through here. So we're going to have a peek at it. And this road right here, I really haven't discovered this part of the map. Alright, this looks very passable. So he says, and then he sees maybe is this deep water or that eh, semi deep. I probably could have come through here with the Taga and the flatbed. That's not that bad at all. The road does split up here a few ways. I gotta have a look at the map now to see exactly where we are. Okay. Uh, the way I'm going, I might as well go to here. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go this way, I suppose. And then we'll just mark our way all the way to here. I did advance time, of course, till 6 a.m. in the morning. So the sun will be coming on up. Uh, we 
got something here. Oh, it's one of those time trial things. There's a bridge that we're going to be building. So if worse comes to worse, if I happen to roll over at some point, we can always take the Taga and go the way we just did with the Royal BM and get the garage built. Or at least, not built, but at least getting us to the next step. And we can continue on. But I think getting the bridge built may be kind of key for us here. I don't know what the last step is for building the garage. If I happen to see a trailer along the way that we can take, I'll grab it. This road seems to be in good enough shape for us. As long as I uh, don't get too excited in my driving. Got a couple spots you just got to take a little bit easy on. Not get bouncing too much now. Ooh. Kind of missed uh, where I needed to be there. Probably a little bit more tricky on the way back with a load in the back. It'll make me a little bit more top heavy. Oh, yeah. I kind of remember this a little bit with the uh, 1500 being in this general area. I remember pulling in here thinking that this might be the garage. Any bonus trailers hanging around here? <laughs> No, don't think so. All right. Uh, no, we don't want spare parts. Metal beams. And back the way we came. At least the rain has stopped. I just got to be a little bit more careful of what I'm doing now. I've been trying to be more careful since I rolled over at the very beginning, but... We saw how that went after that because I rolled over again. I think it was kind of wise, though, to not try to take the Taga through that river. I mean, it may be possible to drive through. It may not be as bad as it looks. But with that set up there, it sounds like I can just turn around very easily. Front end is really bouncing around. Whoa. Ride him, cowboy. A 
My back hurts just watching that poor driver in the cab bouncing around. I don't think there's a... Uh, have we found a fuel area on this map yet? I mean, I think I got enough fuel in the Royal BM to make another trip to get the bridge done. A fuel area or a trailer station. Well, we can see the bridge up ahead. And today looks like it's just another day of rain. We have to have a quick look at the map to see if there is a... I don't remember crossing a fuel area at all. As a matter of fact, I think the uh, CK-1500 may be out of fuel. And, that's a, and I think I may have said we're going to leave it there until we get the garage uh, located. That's when I was driving around trying to find the garage itself. Okay, so there's one. Now let me just have a quick look at the map here. Flooded crossing. Corporate warehouse. Yeah, it doesn't look like I've discovered a trailer store or a fuel station anywhere. Alright, let's go get the other steel beams. Open up this road and make way for the Taga to come on through. Just like the first trip, the second trip went just as good as it could. I think there was one, just one small spot where I thought it was a possibility I was going to tip over. But this should complete the bridge. I know there are sometimes you get a job where it shows you one part. And then you get it done, it's like, hey, now you got a second part to do. It's like, oh, crap, didn't know that. But it looks like that will complete the bridge. Barricades are gone, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll park the Royal BM out of the way here. Also, let me know, because uh, I've been putting time lapses in SnowRunner once in a while. I don't know if time lapses work in SnowRunner, if it's too much uh, moving around, not too sure. So, if it's a problem, let me know. Alright, now I just need to get myself 
out of this little situation that we're in. Shouldn't be too bad. We got one little ditch, drainage ditch we got to get out of. But the tog is like, yeah, not a problem. We got this. All right, uh, let me go ahead and get this job back up. Uh, Harvest Corp. And we are doing... Down to the last screw. I was like, where is it? There it is. Uh, not restart, start tracking. There we go. Um, so let's see, we go across. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll go this way this time. That seems the obvious choice. And then up and around to down here. We'll get these three parts delivered. And now this, uh, now open up the next job that we need to do to get this garage completely built, which would be good because Royal BM is getting low on fuel. Uh, the CK 1500 is somewhere low on fuel. So just to be able to recover those vehicles and get full fuel, full repair would be nice. Right now, the Royal BM, I mean, I, I got a decent amount of fuel into it. So if something were to happen with the target, I need to roll it over. It might get me there, depending how far we are away from the Royal BM. But right now, there's nothing on this map that really helps us out with our vehicles. No repair, no refuel, no trailer station. To buy a service trailer, refueling trailer. So really taking some roads I haven't been on. I mean, if something happens to the flatbed and that rolls over or the cargo falls off, not that big of a deal because we got the crane and everything. Uh, yeah, that kind of just like blew that up, didn't it? Yeah, there's no... I don't see any tree stumps here. And it's flat enough. Well, I do see some tree stumps up there. Well, we can see our future garage now on the map where we need to be. Oh, hurt the fuel cell a little bit. So maybe losing a little bit of fuel here and there. Which is not ideal. Put it into high gear instead of automatic. Going through all this. All the meanwhile, keeping my eyes peeled for possibly a trailer somewhere that I have not seen yet. By getting this job done, and then we can 
finally unlock the last task for this garage. We can kind of see what the procedure might be. So far, this, these roads are not that bad. The terrain is somewhat level through all the way through. And we have arrived. It'd be great if it unlocks part of the garage. Like, hey, we, you at least open up the service area. Because we are bringing service parts here. So, 810 XP, 7750 in cash. Which is great. Did it open up actually anything here? No, it did not. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. And now we'll come in here and we got to go to Contracts, Harvest Corp. And uh, which one is it? Oh, Fixing the Fixers. That's the one. So we got to bring service parts four. We got to bring four more and two metal beams. Well, we know where to get the metal beams. That's not that... Ah, interesting. So that road doesn't really connect with this road Royal BM is kind of out of fuel uh, is that the CK 1500 it is um, so we know the metal beams are from here uh, do I get can I get service parts from there as well and that is a Tuz 420 for fixing that bridge Service parts and metal beams. So I can get everything from there. I wonder how rough the terrain is going through here. If I can just take the Taga and come on down through here and grab it and just make two trips back and forth. How much fuel do I got left? More than a half a tank. Although my fuel cell is kind of damaged a little bit. So I don't know how much that's hurting us. But we may try that. Uh, how much fuel is in my Tuz? Maybe if, if the Tuz has got a lot of fuel into it, that, uh, it's quite a ways away. 46%. Let me just hop into that. And I think I got a full... Uh, no, it looks like I have used the fuel that's on top. It may be wise to take this on a scout run and see how bad the terrain is. Not many trees. If I were to... Let me just go ahead and mark this for a second. And let's hop back to this vehicle here. It's it's less than 300 meters through there. Uh, we'll have to see, won't we? I don't know which way I'm going to approach it as of yet. But anyways, one more step to go. We'll have ourselves a, a garage here. Um, which would be great because I could use some service... Uh, and some fuel in this area. That'd be nice. And uh, yeah, then we can uh, really get on with Central Asia here and probably doing some more contracts. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.